course of the year, if I were to pinpoint one area that I've seen a significant spike in, in uh, discipline and discipline referrals it's around vaping. Right. Tonight's presentation is around uh, issues that we're seeing at the high school in regards to vaping and jeweling or uh, what we call non-tobacco related nicotine products. Uh, it's been a group of, of individuals from the Hopkinton Police Department, Hopkinton Youth and Family Services, as well as the high school that have kind of come together, as well as the Hopkinton Health Department, to put together this presentation. We have um, <clears throat> a few experts in the field, as well as some school officials that are going to talk about some trends that we're seeing at the high school and talk about some of the education that we're providing for some of our students around this topic. In fake tax, the claim by Jewel is it's more natural. It doesn't have this. The problem is basically combusting glycerin, glycerol, turns this into aldehydes of aberrant. And that's what causes it. So it's a higher temperature. But sometimes we don't know how stable the electrical wiring and the heat is in some of these pods that they put in the jewel. So this is the concern. Like, are they still getting acrylate as well? We have Dr. Lester Hartman, um, who is a uh, works in pediatrics at the Westwood Mansfield uh, Children's Hospital, uh, as well as D.J. Wilson, who, who works for the um, the MMA. He's a, a controlled tobacco officer, as well as Justin Palmerville, one of our assistant principals from the school. And so you have to do it outside. About an hour later, it started smelling something. You know, kind of flowery smell. And what's that smell? My two daughters were laughing their heads off. Matt's vaping in the house, Dad. Here I'm doing this, and it was Matt, my nephew, who was vaping in the house, and he would do, I, I learned it from him. Okay, so I'm going to pass this around to you, a nice little light that goes on with it, too. It's digital. So, so is there, is there fuel in it's fuel the it's, it, there's, there, well, it's vapor, but it's very small amounts of vapor. So it's not like the billowy stuff of 10 <coughs> So you're not going to see it fly all over the classroom, you know, with it. Yeah, so we put this out for, to students uh, in our uh, weekly memo to the students as well as uh, through our newsletter to parents as well. So we're hoping for uh, as many people as can, that can come to come out. If not, then we'll, we'll obviously HCAM is, is, is taping it, so it'll be available for anybody to watch it. Different, there, some are cheaper than others, some are less well built than others maybe as well. So there's no whole range like anything. Um, that's, like I said, natural oil. How is the oil natural in your lungs? I call the Jewel Care Center. In, and it turns out it was in the Philippines. And I asked the guy, I said, is mango okay for your lungs? And the guy couldn't give me an answer. We don't know what mango can do long-term lungs. It's not your stomach. It's not your stomach, you know? Let's not confuse the stomach with the lungs.